Hey there, welcome back to Fallout 76. Thanks for joining me again. Something I should have done at the end of the last episode I wish I would have thought of is level up. We leveled up. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's see here. Um, level up. What do I want? I mean, I've been putting as much stuff into strength as I can. Because uh, I want to be nice and strong since I'm swinging this uh, club. So uh, let's go over to strength. We'll choose strength. And um, slugger. I could put something else into slugger. Um, but uh, how much do I have in slugger? Okay, I've got two in slugger. So I can get another slugger. So let's do that. Let's level up here. Go into strength. Put another one into slugger. Accept. And we'll uh, rank the cards. Okay, and then we will apply it. And there we go. That was very fast. We've got a strength of nine now. Uh, we've got Slugger going on here, which gives us plus 20% damage with our uh, our weapon. Our weapon of choice, a baseball bat. What are we doing? We're supposed to go to a final exam site. Um, into the fire. Just one more to go. Seems the final step is a practical exam where I'll have to delve into a local mine overrun by scorched... Oh, goody. My thoughts exactly. If we show it on the map, we'll see that it's down here. So, let us uh, start heading in that direction. I am not thrilled about the prospect of going into a mine at all. Mines are usually pretty tough. And uh, I'm probably going to put my mask on, aren't I? Because we're heading into um, the ash heap. So we need our mask on. There you go. Got my mask on. Helps protect against the coronavirus too. So we're uh, we're safe. Kind of a spooky looking place we're heading towards. Uh, I have a feeling there's going to be enemies here. Yeah. Gonna be enemies. Uh, Protectrons. I hate that Protectrons are enemies. Why do they have to be enemies, man? Why can't we all just be friends? Discovered the Rusty Pick. Which, um... Is not where I'm going. So... Ah, crap. He's seen me. I really don't want to fight all these Protectrons, but, um... Law-abiding citizens will not be harmed. I don't believe you. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of them, actually. Hey, man, how's it going? Oh, jeez, that hurt. Stop it. Actually, it doesn't hurt that much. Oh, jeez. Okay. That guy took uh, two hits. I was only expecting it to take one. Let's just... Oh, jeez, is that another one? Oh, gosh. Um, there's a lot of enemies here. Man, that's my, t my tough swing, too. My strong swing that I'm using against this guy. Where are you going, Mr. Handy? Oh, there's a fence on right. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. He's, he's calling me a kitty? Okay. See you later, dude. Ah, uh, crap. I don't think I can get up this hill here. Oh, my gosh. That is one scary-sounding Mr. Handy. Jeez. He's not shooting at me, though. Whoa, whoa, that was scary sounding. Was that him that made that noise? Here, we're just gonna leave this place. This place is terrible. I don't like it here at all. Problem is, the place I'm going is even worse, I feel like. Still says danger. Oh gosh, look at this place, man. <sighs> danger. What's what's dangerous here? Something following me? Is it just somebody down there still eyeballing me? I don't know, man. Oh! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Follow me all the way up here. <laughs> uh, maybe he just wanted to be friends. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. We've discovered Belching Betty. 
Get a whole 21 experience points for that. Hey, dude, how's it going? What's up? Fire breather. Applicant detected. It's me. Kit ticket issued. Please collect your gear. Kit ticket issued. Fire breather kit ticket added. Uh, okay, collect my kit, it says. I spoke to Bernie, the final exam proctor, who gave me a ticket to collect the equipment I'll need for the test. Activate. Leading on equipment. Okay. Is not encouraged. <laughs> Examination briefing. Holotape issue. Oh, goody. All right, he gave me a holotape. Uh, ooh, anti-scorched training pistol added. And a bunch of 10 millimeter rounds, so I guess we're going to be using that pistol, huh? Uh, let's go ahead and equip this stuff that he just gave us, the uh, fire breather helmet, the uniform, and um, I found it odd he gave me a helmet and a uniform. I can't use my gas mask with the helmet on. Although this says prevents damage and disease from airborne hazards, so I guess I'm okay. And then weapons. No, not effects. Weapons. Anti-scorched training pistol. 25% more damage against scorched. 20% less against anything else. So we could go ahead and slap that into a slot. Let's put it in here. No, we'll put it in here. We'll put it in here. Uh, change and the training pistol. Okay. We're supposed to listen to the fire breather's final exam briefing holotape. I received my equipment along with the holotape I need to listen to before beginning the final exam. Thanks, Hank. Hank. Yeah. Exam simple. Reach the bottom of the mine, hit the emergency beacon down there, and come back up. Jeez. All you gotta do is survive a little slice of living hell. All the scorch they call it home. Sounds like a dangerous test. I get this is extreme. It is extreme. We need to know if you can hack it before you got half a dozen other people counting on you. I see. But you're not going in empty-handed. Along with your suit, you've been issued a modified 10 millimeter. Figured out the scorch aren't big fans at depleted ultrasite. Hmm. Took a field trip to AMS HQ to figure out how to make the stuff, but it's the most effective tool we found for putting them down. Okay. So time to prove you can put it to good use. Suit up, strap in, and move out, recruit. Okay, we're supposed to activate an emergency beacon. Ay ay ay. I listened to the tape provided by Bernie. Mine full of scorched. Go to the bottom, hit the emergency beacon, come back up. All without getting eaten. I'm not worried about getting eaten. Uh, warning, danger, underground mine fire. Walking or driving this area could result in serious injury or death. Dangerous gases are present. Present. Ground is prone to sudden collapse. West, West Virginia Department of Environmental Affairs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go, man. We're going in. We're going into Belching Betty. Could be a lot of scorched in here. Scorched, uh, they move kind of fast. They like to hide behind things and shoot out from behind things. So they're they're pretty tricky. Let's help ourselves to a stem pack. Let's uh, kind of stock up on a few things if we can. Oh, boy. Cranberry moonshine, I guess I'll take that. Maybe I could drink that in a pinch. Maybe? I don't know, man. Okay, we're supposed to go down in this mine. I don't want to go in the mine. Huh. I don't want syringer ammo. I have no use for that. I mean, I guess I should pick it up. Th be picking up this pre-war money. It's cloth, right? Turn it into cloth. Maybe I could use it to... Um, help with... Uh, Repairing and crafting armor. Gear hand mining. Let's just take a look around here. See if there's stuff that may help us. Oh, I, I do have skill zero, so I can't get in here. Nice. Uh, not too interested in the other stuff. This guy looks like it was a scientist. What was what's a scientist doing here? Oh, okay. Take that stuff. 10 millimeter rounds. Not sure why they needed to put that there. 
All right, Betty, do your worst. The terminal here. Let's use it. Warning, do not enter, it says. This facility has been sealed permanently. Hostile specimens contained. And then right underneath of that is the remote door control, and it's open. So, uh, let's go on in. Oh, man, this is... This is a nasty, nasty, nasty place. Let's get our weapon out here. Get ready to shoot some scorched. Nice effects here, though. Pretty cool. Really looks like we're entering the belly of hell here. I don't remember how far I have to go. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be further than I want to go. Look at this place, man. Can I catch on fire down here? Is that a skull? It is. So the scorched are living down here? All this fire? Can I catch on fire? Am I walking on the fire? Probably. Okay. I believe that's a scorched right there. Oh gosh, it doesn't do much damage. Huh, what an interesting weapon. I thought it was just... I mean, it is a pistol, but it's an automatic pistol. I don't like it. Oh gosh, this thing sucks. This thing sucks! This thing's supposed to be good against Scorched? This thing's terrible. Well, luckily they're not doing too much damage to me. Yeah, this is this is not not great. Did I did I kill them all? Alright, the welcoming party has been dispensed with. I think. Yeah, there's a fire breather over there. Well, we're gonna take all this stuff and haul it out of here. At least as much of it as we can, anyway. Oh man, Timothy Wolf didn't make it. He's got a submachine gun. I like his outfit. Does my outfit look like that? It does. Check me out. Oh yeah, look at that. Not too not too shabby. Not a bad look. Another fire breather over here. This is not encouraging. Let's listen to Andrew Rhodes's Scorch Slayer's Journal Part 1. Or, or we'll just jump. Is it on? Yeah, the red light is on, so it's recording. <clears throat> this is Maxine Ballard, squad leader of the Scorch Slayers. Sounds like a child. We're making this recording to document our descent into the Belching Betty mine for the final exam. Well, say which exam? All oh, right. For the fire breathers, final exam. We're supposed to head inside, find the emergency beacon, and watch out for scorch. Piece of cake. <laughs> I don't know. If it's so easy, why hasn't anyone else completed the exam? Because they weren't us. We've been hunting scorched at the farms for days. How much harder could the ones in the mines be? Yeah. Grow a little backbone. Yeah, dude. Grow a little backbone. Come on, guys. Let's stick together on this. Okay, Scorch Slayers. It's time to lock and load. Let's get the job done. Well, it's good to know that there's an armor workbench here so that we could scrap some scrap as we uh, go through here. And, um, we're going to be picking up some stuff on our way through here, no doubt. Purified water and some deviled eggs. That's a good lunch. Oh, I thought I picked up the eggs. I guess I didn't. So, those people got to come through here as a group. Why do I have to come in here alone? Doesn't seem fair, now does it? More 10 millimeter rounds. Oh, you had to go and explode on me, didn't you? Old possum and boiled water. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Take any fluids you got. Get away from that radiation. Well, we know there's going to be more scorched before we're done with this. Not too thrilled about it. No, sir, I'm not.
Hmm, which way do I want to go here? Do I want to go to the right or to the left? It doesn't even matter. I don't even know. We'll go this way. Cool looking piece of machinery there. Just waiting for there to be a scorched around the corner. Uh-oh. Oh, caution. Caution. Too many hits, man. Too many hits. Did I see something? Oh, jeez. That guy came out of nowhere. Oh, shot his head clean off. Man, that guy came out of nowhere. Oh, hi. Nice done. Nicely done, sir. I applaud your flanking. Well done. I'm impressed. Would you like to join my team? Somebody's still shooting at me. I don't know where they are, though. Danger. Still in danger here. Where are you? Oh, crap. There's a lot of them. Try to shoot him in the crotch. It's usually a pretty good spot to hit somebody, right? <laughs> it looked like he was actually turning around to run away. Good golly. There's a lot of them down here. I better take some health. Whew. This place is lousy with Scorched. I may have taken the wrong path. Why oh, they're hurting me so much, they got these shotguns. Shotguns they'll hurt you. Oh man. It's a big tunnel back that way. I need to go that way. So I've come down this this tunnel. Is the other one a more direct route? Missed this guy. Here's Sylvester. Let's listen to Scorch Slayer's journal part two. Okay, squad leader. Tim and Andrew are both dead. Now what the hell are we supposed to do? Shut up, Sai. She's recording. Entry two. We've lost Timothy Wolf and Andrew Rhodes to a swarm of Scorched. <clears throat> Ouch. And the rest <clears throat> of us barely made it past them alive. I'm beginning to think Melody Larkin may have underestimated yeah. You're damn right she did. This is suicide. What the hell with this? I'm going back. No, you're not. You're sticking with us. Why? So we can get picked off one by one until we're all dead? No way, not me. You know what, Sai? You've been acting like a coward ever since we started tackling the scorch the farm. And now, Tim and Andrew are dead because of you. Mm. I saw him, Max. When those Scorched pushed through the tunnels, they came at us from all sides. Tim and Andrew were holding, and they told Sai to watch the back, but he did it. He mm. ran away and left their rear flank wide open. That's what took them down. Bullshit! She's lying, Max. I'll both of you knock it off. Sylvester, if you want to go, go, but you're going back alone, and I guarantee we didn't clear everything. Mark my words, you'll never be part of this squad again. Fine. To hell with both of you. I'm out of here! <clears throat> You're seriously me. letting him go? Yeah, Rita. We're better off without him. Are you? Are you? Boy, this is kind of scary looking. Walking down through here, huh? That light down there? Don't think I want to go down there. I'm not 100% sure. The 90th percentile sure I don't want to go down there. I'm still alive. Scorch haven't killed us yet, but man, there sure are a lot of them. Golly. A lot of Scorched. So yeah, that's, um, that's just death waiting for us down there, I would imagine. Death can just keep on waiting. Hey, how's it going? What's the range on this thing? 
It's working. So yeah, Scorched, they're they're kind of smart. They'll actually take cover and shoot out from behind cover. It's pretty neat. Jeez, he's coming. Oh, got him though. Good. Ah, oh, jeez, look at this place. Not doing much damage per hit at all, but I'm not really specced for this kind of thing, you know. But this was the weapon I was told to use, so... And I have a lot of ammo for it, so... It's, if for no other reason, at least I... Got plenty of ammo, don't have to worry about running out. Is that a Scorch there? Oh, that was a Petrified. I didn't think I killed all of these. But I guess I did. A hatchet. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Crap, man, that's not good. That is not good at all. I mean, I don't really need to carry all this stuff, but, uh, you know, this early in the game, I feel like any little bit of material I can collect is maybe useful, maybe beneficial, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find another bench down here, though. We saw one up at the top of the mine. I don't think we're going to find another one down here. But maybe we will. Maybe we will. Maybe I'll get lucky. I don't know. Oh, now that's good. Boiled water? Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh, boy. We could go down. We could go up. Oh, can I get in here? I can't get in here. Oh man, there's a bench in there too. I don't have the skills to unlock this thing. <laughs> um, and I don't think I can get a temporary skill. Let's see. Uh, lock picking is under perception, I believe. Okay. Do I not have any um, cards? For perception? Any other cards? I guess I don't. I guess that's the only card I've got. Yeah, I, I, I do not have... I don't have a lockpick card anyway. I was going to say maybe I could take a, a cam or something that would up my perception. and But I don't even have the card. Well, I'm thirsty again, so let's go into my inventory here. Into my aid. I don't think I have any more juices. I, think I drank all my juices. So I believe I'm just going to have to drink some um, of my purified water, which is the best to drink, but I'm running out of it quickly. Um, let's see, as far as eating stuff, I've got. Um, I got baked bloat fly and a bunch of canned dog food, which doesn't spoil. So I don't know why when I sort by spoilage, mole rat chunks are below canned dog food. I, I can't believe after all this time they've never fixed the sorting in this thing. So I can't get in there. And this is, um, well, there's a mine shaft down here, or an elevator shaft or something. I'm not going to try to do that. That's that's how I'd end up dead, by uh, falling to my death. I'd survive all these scorched and super mutants and ghouls and such, and what would kill me would be freaking fall to my death. Oh, go to bench. Nice. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Oh, somebody sees me. Oh, okay, I see him over there. You're gonna come up these steps. Where is he? Oh, hey, oh, there's another. Oh, gosh, there's a bunch of them. Well, it's nice that they're all waiting to take their turn instead of all shooting at me at the same time. He's down. 
stop shooting at me. Somebody down there shooting at me. I don't know where he is. Um, I do have vats, which I could try to use. Um, again, I'm not really specced for it. Hatchet Electro Fusion. I don't know. Take that. I kind of want to clear these guys out before I start using this workbench, because they'll come up next to me as I'm trying to use this thing. Come on, show yourself. Oh, I remember this being pretty tough when I was here before, if it's what I'm thinking of. I'm right. I remember this being pretty tough, just totally overrun with Scorched. Take care of this jerk. Is he gonna come up these stairs? He is. This scorched level 14, dude. Die already. Crap, I better take some health, huh? Gotta be serious about my health. Gotta be serious about it. it still says danger, damn it. Who else is down here? Another one somewhere? Oh hey, how's it going? Oh gosh, there's a bunch of them. Well, let's see if I can't pick them, out from, pick them off from up here so that I don't have to worry about them when I go down. Come back out here, dude. Come on, man. Show yourself. Ah, Don't be shy. He's shy. He's a shy Scorched. Alright, fine. I think I've cleared him out enough so that I could safely use this workbench. Ooh, here's some uh, new river red ale, I think is what it was called. Um, scrap, scrap all junk, scrap these weapons I'm carrying around. I'm gonna know everything there is to, about, to know about shotguns here pretty soon. Oh. That's alright. Doesn't really matter. Whatever. Okay, so did all that. Did I pick up any apparel at all? Not really, Kelly. I'm not finding much apparel. More 10 millimeter rounds. Nice to see that. I mean, because I've only got 345 rounds, so you just start conserving rounds. Not really. Okay, what you got for me? More shotguns. There's that guy. I see you. That was good. We got sneak attack for two two times damage. Bourbon, I'll take that. I might have to drink it at some point to stay alive. Sounded awful scary down in here. So, for some reason I'm thinking that uh, once I get down there and I activate this thing, uh, like a whole new batch of Scorched show up to hinder my exits. Uh, I think that's what happens, and that's what makes this super tough. Can't get in there. Did I need a flare gun? I don't know. I picked it up. Okay. What's going on over here? What's this? Pump action shotgun just kind of hanging out there. Yeah, I, I, I remember this being quite a fight to get out of here, and it could have just been the unlucky timing, because I think that, just like when we were um, in the last episode, where were we? Uh, downtown Charleston, where I took out all those super mutants, and then all of a sudden they all reappeared. I don't know that if that's because another player showed up. Um, here's Maxine right here. I don't know if it's just a timing thing or what. Anyway, what I'm saying is, last time I was here, when I pressed this button, a whole bunch of Scorch showed up. And I actually think I came from that direction. Nice. So I'm going to press this button. Here's Rita right here with the f another Scorch Slayer's journal. Somehow made it to the beacon. 
What's supposed to happen when we activate that beacon? I don't know. I suppose we'll get Melody Larkin's next instruction about how to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no reason for us to stand here and wait. Push the damn thing. Push it. That sounds scary. What is that? You just gonna talk about it? What is it? What oh was it? Oh my god. They're everywhere. I I don't know if we're gonna make it. But we didn't come this far just to give up. Gun bolt sliding I'll into place sound. Back. Well, they didn't make it very far because they're both lying right here. So yes, that would seem to indicate that when I press this button, there's going to be a bunch of scorched. And I also think that it's timed because I remember rushing out of here instead of just taking my time and picking them off from a distance. So this could suck. This would be a time when I would hit F5 if that was an option. Okay, I pressed it. Turn to Bernie. Okay. Well, I don't see a timer, thank goodness. And let's see if I get if I get lucky here and have no scorched show up, no new scorched. That would make me very happy if I could just waltz on out of here. Oh, I heard something down the hill there. want the flare gun. Oh, dang it. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of here, man. Let's get out of here. So, hopefully I could just take this path out of here because I've already cleared it. That would be super nice. Wish that door was open, but that's okay. We'll be all right. All right, let's um, let's see what happens here. Walk in this direction. Loot that meat pile. Just put on some gloves before you stick your hands in there, because it's kind of nasty. Okay. So far, so good. Just love to waltz on out of here, man. That'd be so nice. Give me some black titanium. Could be useful at some point, I don't know. There's some more. Whoops. More black titanium. It's kind of hard to see it. You can just very faintly hear my guy breathing in this mask. I don't know if you hear that or not. Pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Let's get out of here, man. Let's just truck on out of here. Let's just walk out. Try not to catch on fire. Don't see any movement up ahead. Oh, did not walk through. Well, I guess maybe I walked through that. Damn it. Oh well. It's alright. Okay, so far so good. Did we see this guy? That's Sylvester. He's the one who went back. One who wussed out. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, we're ascending. Nice and quiet. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to worry about. Just walking on up the hill here. 
these skulls here. It's getting pretty steep. We can climb it though. Oh, Bernie, I'm a coming. Coming home to Bernie. Ooh wee okay. Nice job with the smoke effects there. I really like that. It's very well done. Um, is this where the uh, bench was? No. Where was that bench? Just do another quick scrap before we leave here. Well, I thought there was a bench. Somewhere. Didn't I see a bench out here? Maybe it was down there a little bit further. Oh well, let's get out of here, man. Let's get out of here. Back into Appalachia. Where, unfortunately, the air still isn't going to be fresh because we're in the ash heap. But it's got to be better than what was down there in that mine. So we turn to Bernie here. And then I don't remember where the game sends us next. It might even send us down to what? Um, for some reason, I'm thinking it's going to send us down here to Welch. I think. I think that's where we go. All right, Bernie. I'm back. I made it. All examinations complete. Nice. Congratulations. Issuing. Orientation. Hollow tape. Please proceed to Charleston Fire Department for company registration. Okay. All right. Welcome to Fire Breathers Added. We're supposed to register with the Fire Breathers computer system. If you look at our quest in here, it says, I made it out of the mine alive, completing the Fire Breathers final exam. Please present yourself to the captain uh -huh. on. Duty. Okay, I've now got to head back to the Charleston Fire Department to register myself. Let's do it, man. Let's go back to the Charleston Fire Department. We'll have to walk by the Rusty Pick again, I guess. Where we saw a bunch of, uh, Protectrons and such walking about. Charleston Fire Department is, yep, sure enough, right on the other side of the Rusty Pick. We survived it once, we could survive it again, right? Right? I mean, I could go around it, but we'll just go through it. Or maybe I will go around it. We'll go over here. So that wasn't too bad, going down in there. Thankfully, nothing was waiting for me on the way out. Can't get in there. Oh, there's a unfriendly iBot. Oh, hey, ouch. I appreciate that, sir. Hey. Oh, is he following me now? He is, isn't he? Hi. Oh, hello. Switch weapons, please. Oh, he's not dead yet. Nice. I take your steel scrap. I'm going to use it to make a toilet. A shiny steel toilet made out of your carcass. How do you like that? Well, back to the Charleston Fire Department. Awful quiet. Man, even the music has stopped playing. It is quiet. Yeesh. Spooky. For ten, a friendly protectron. Graduate detected. Registration is required. Please present yourself to station captain. Okay, I Successful will. Successful graduate detected. Applicant survival rate mm -hmm. updated. What's the survival rate now? Are you gonna tell me? What is it? Tell me the survival rate. I want to know. Was it one percent? Please proceed to. Captain's office for final registration. 
Uh, just go upstairs, it would seem. See if I could figure out how to get up there. Um, I don't remember where the stairs are. Here's some stairs. Okay, do a little bit of scrapping. Scrap some. No, no. Nothing else to scrap weapon wise. Oh, I heard, heard a scorched or something. Hey, how's it going, vendor bot? Hey, safe out there. Responder. <laughs> I just love the way he says responder. Responder. Okay, here we are. Greaser, another greaser jacket and jeans. I already got a greaser jacket and jeans. I don't need another one. All right, man. Fire breathers master terminal. Did I look at this already? Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, register new fire breather. And there's a priority message. Please report report to dispatch room. We're supposed to listen to a priority message. Okay. Uh, message archive. Is this where I'm supposed to? No. Um. There's a schematic archive in here. Do I learn something from that? Anti-scorched mods. Okay, cool. So we're getting a uh, scorch killer's receiver. And our map's been updated. User access denied. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I don't remember any of that. Uh, so now our quest says... It sounds like there's an outstanding message from Hank Madigan, the Fire Breathers Lieutenant. I should head into the dispatch room and give it a listen. Okay, let's do that. The dispatch room is over here, I guess. Let's go listen to it. Let's press this button. There are 800,000 <laughs> outstanding support calls. There is one priority call. Accessing. Maria, Melody, whoever's down there, it's Madigan checking in. <laughs> At long last. I'm up here just outside the top of the world and I found something. Something I think could be game changing. Don't ask me where I got it. I just need you to send backup up here quick. The best guns you can spare. Call me back at this frequency as soon as you can. Madigan out. Hmm. Okay, so top of the world. We completed the quest called Into the Fire. And uh, what do we get for that? Do we get some cool stuff for completing that quest? Let's see. We get uh, Purified Waters, Heavy Metal Right Arm. I mean, the Purified Waters I'm pretty excited about. And 824 experience points, we get a new quest called The Missing Link. Discover what happened to Madigan and continue his vital mission to fight the Scorched. Well, I guess that's what we're doing now. Oh, damn you. Coming here ruining all my fun. I'm having a good old time without you walking around here. That was weird. Weird glitch there. Did you see that? Is that him? I don't know what's going on. Um, so yeah, if we look at our uh, quests now. Danger, it says. Okay. Confused growl. Oh gosh, they're everywhere all of a sudden. Damn it. Uh, the Missing Link, I need to find out what happened to Madigan, as his mission was critical to dealing with the Scorched. I should check out his last known location, the top of the world. Ay -ay -ay. We gotta go to the top of the world, which is way over here, man. We're way down here. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Got a long way to go. We got quite the trek ahead of, a, uh, ahead of us. And I'm trying to remember, can I get to the top of the world from here? Like, if I were to follow this path again around this dry lake bed here, up here, past the power substation, and up here to this place. Can I get from here to here? I don't remember. For some reason, I don't think I can. I think I need to go all the way around this way and come up through here. Man, I do not want to go that way because of, you know, White Spring. That place is kind of crazy over there. Man, I don't remember if I can make it through there or not. I don't think I can. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. 
All right, we need to get out of here. Uh, I need to get back to my um, camp. So let's see if we can get out of here without getting killed. Stupid scorched walking around out here. All right. So kind of nice. Got this camp here that I've been able to use for quite a while. Didn't have to spend any caps to move it. So that's nice. We got that going for us. Yeah, here's our nice little camp here. Cool. Go here to our stash box. Stash more junk. And, um... Yeah. I mean, we can keep wearing the fire breather stuff. It's kind of cool looking. It protects our face and our breathing. That is not what I meant to do. I don't even know how that happened. Yeah, we'll just kind of hang out here. Well, uh, good a place as any to end this episode. Uh, when we come back next time, we will, I guess, start making our way up to the top of the world. Yikes. Scary stuff. That's gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be tough. I, I really don't know... <sighs> Should I risk it? Should I just walk up this way and then see if I can make it up here? Because if I get here and then I can't go this way, well then I'm going to have to go, sheesh, what, all the way around? That's, that's dangerous up there. So if I get up here and I can't get through, then I'm going to have to come all the way back down here and go around. Um, man, I don't remember whether I can make it there or not. I'm thinking maybe this is where I couldn't make it through. I don't remember. It's hard to tell. If I had the marsupial mutation, I could probably make it there, make some higher jumps, but uh, I don't remember. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll find out next time. Thank you for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. See you next time. <laughs>